The government can't talk to every small business that wants to talk with them. You should only be talking to those that are procurement ready, right? And you should be working very closely with your P-tax, et cetera, so that they're very informed and can help those ones that are not procurement ready begin to become procurement ready. So the first suggestion is create that vetting process. And it's not that hard. Second one is um, create an FY24, 2024 um, doing business with us course. Almost everybody has uh, some butcherized page that still says FBO on it, on their websites, right? You might be the one agency out there that's a little farther advanced, but it's still that same kind of thing. It's the old school 1990s way of telling businesses how to do business with your agency. Create a course instead and not just create it where it has these small modules you can sit there and teach them. And I'll give you some, some suggestions, but then track the progress. I don't want to get on the phone with you and go, well, our top NAICS codes are these or this is that, right? You want us industry to learn all that on our own so that when we come to you, the conversation level is much higher. Some examples of what could be in the course, which are really important, the procurement process. I showed USDA's roadmap. It's this beautiful three or four layer roadmap that lays out all the steps. And so people can see where requirements are as they go through the acquisition process. That's fantastic because then we align our sales process that industry has onto that. And we begin to track that in our pipeline. We begin to understand how do you come up with an idea and then shape it into an RFP, right? And so share that procurement process visually and in the training. Uh, share information about the top vehicles. I can go into FBDS and see the top NAICS codes and things like that really easy. But it's not as easy to find what are the top 10 contract vehicles we use, Right. We almost always go here or you can align it to the common goods, which is my next one is um, in category management. There's 10 common goods, more 19 for um, DOD. But these 10 common goods give a training on, hey, in Naval Surface Warfare Center crane, this is what we buy um, in the common goods. Here's medical. We don't buy any on there. Or, you know, you can put dollar values in there, but you're teaching us what you buy. Um, have an organizational breakdown, so the org chart of your command, your office, and then also have, you know, what do those offices do, the purpose, and what they need from industry. All of that can be in that training course. Um, another suggestion for government to make matchmaking better, and I'm going to pick up speed here, is host matchmaking events around the common goods. For example, a cybersecurity event or a professional services one, uh, maybe an IT services one, separate from a construction one or a medical one, Right. Um, help people understand that I don't need to go to that matchmaking event. It's all um, medical, for example, or it's all cyber and I don't do cyber, I do construction. Host that around the common good categories and it'll help people be able to come in. It'll lead to helpful matches for the government. You're meeting with businesses that are in that space. And it also enables better networking among all of us in the industry who are attending that event. We're seeing other businesses who are in our same space. Uh, the last thing tip for the government is make sure at the table, have representatives from the program office. Get those people in talking, right? If you vet industry the right way, you won't waste the program office's time because they'll meet subject matter experts that can begin to advise them on just future requirements.